Okay, uh, once the Battle of Fallen Timbers had been fought and finished, um, Washington worked to settle all of the problems between the United States and Great Britain. So um, it started with John Jay, and uh, John Jay was an extremely important gentleman. He went to Britain, and he reached an agreement known as Jay's Treaty. And um, basically, he helped the British come to the conclusion that they should give up their forts along the American frontier, since that's what they agreed to in the Treaty of Paris. And now that their enemies, well, their their uh, Native American uh, allies have been defeated, they were left alone. So uh, <clears throat> England gave up their forts along the frontier. And then America also was having trouble with uh, Spain. And so Pinckney, Pinckney's Treaty was um, created and negotiated by Thomas Pinckney. He reached an agreement so that the Spanish and the Americans could use the Mississippi River to ship goods. And uh, basically, Spain was nervous. They were worried that the American government might try to take over Florida and out uh, west along the Mississippi. And America was eyeing to do that. And so uh, it gave Americans the right to travel the river and to go through New Orleans. And it set the boundary between Florida and Georgia where it is, well, where it was at that point. So uh, Pinckney's Treaty just shored up relations between America and Spain. Now, in 1796, George Washington retired as president after his second term in office. And then he decided not to run for re-election. He gave his farewell address and said that he wouldn't run for a third term because he believed that two terms was enough. And three terms, people would start to think of him as a king, and he and others did not want that. So um, since Washington was the first president, he created a lot of precedents. And a precedent is an example set by one person that becomes standard practice for others. Some of those precedents are the fact that he gave a farewell address, that he would give an annual State of the Union address, that he would only serve two terms in office, and there were many others. And uh, Washington, he was lucky because he got to set those precedents, and he did a really nice job. And other presidents after him, they obviously followed those precedents. Um, at the end of Washington's uh, presidency, this blue area is where the United States controlled, had influence over, of course, these states, the original 13 states. And then we're going to see what will come of all the rest of this land here in the North America.